What up YouTube? What's up America? What's up world? What's up to all my NFL fans out there? We get real close y'all so y'all know I'm gonna have mad mad shows about the NFL popping up. But anyway, um, welcome to the Power Hour and of course I am your host Power by 100 shows. I think y'all know that by now. It's me baby. But uh, my subject today is my man Mike Vick. Now let me uh, let it be known I'm not an Eagles fan. I mean I'm not an Eagles hater either. But I'm not an Eagles fan, but I'm a Mike Vick fan. I love Mike Vick, of course, die hard. Even though he ain't with my dirty birds no more, I still love Vick. But um, Vick got hurt last night, man, against that game that they won against the Patriots, man. Um, he got hit in the ribs this time. So they took x-rays of the cat, you know, the x-rays negative and all of that. Excuse me, uh, YouTube. The x-rays are negative, so, you know, he, nothing's broken. But uh, Coach Reed said he's sitting them down. You know what I'm saying? Coach Reed then had a hard preseason, man. You know, his son dies. Vic gets hurt, you know. And now he get into an a argument with this uh, uh, dude, uh, Cullen Jenkins or whatever, man. So I don't even know what they, what they were scrapping about. But Coach Reed then had it rough this year, man. But um, for all my Eagles fans, because I did a show on uh, Coach Reed before, you know, I got a lot of support. For all my Eagles fans out there. We're going to keep uh, prayers for Mike Vick so he can do his thing, man. I'd love to see Mike Vick get a Super Bowl ring. I don't care what, you know, what team it is. To me, guys, Mike Vick is the LeBron James of, of NFL. You know what I'm saying? That cat gets a bad rap. Everybody always on him. You know, you just want that cat to get a ring. To me, he deserves a ring. You know, of course, you still got big haters out there. So be it. But I want Mike Vick to get a ring. So, Mike Vick, we're going to pray for you here on the Power Hour, buddy, that you uh, heal up. Coach Reed says you are not going to play the last two preseason games. I think they got one coming up against Cleveland, which is my hometown team. Um, and I forget I forget the uh, second game they got coming up. But anyway, Vic going to sit out. We straight. I mean, what I mean, we straight. Y'all straight, Eagles fans. I said we because I'm a big fan. He don't need to play. He need to be ready for the uh, opening, uh, opening game. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I think the opening game – for Philly is against Atlanta. And that's my squad because y'all know I'm at peace up ATL down. So, yo, to all my Philadelphia Eagle fans, let me know if that's the first game, man. I really think that that's the first game uh, for Philly and for Atlanta. I'm not sure. I was looking at the schedule before. But anyway, that's pretty much the news. Everybody already know this idiot Chad Johnson is done. He's not, you know, doing nothing. They, they, they don't want him, so we ain't going to even talk about Chad Johnson. Yo, to all my San Francisco fans out there, keep me uh, updated on uh, Randy Moss, my favorite wide receiver in the whole wide world. I never really liked San Fran, you know what I'm saying, no disrespect, you know, I'm not a West Coast cat, but um, I love Randy Moss, so I wish Moss success, I don't care where he's at. So all my San Fran friends, let me know what uh, Moss been doing in the preseason. Uh, to all my Washington Redskins fans, what you guys think RG3 going to do? You know what I'm saying? He looked a little sloppy on that interception he threw. Well, whatever. He Actually, he fumbled it. He looked a little sloppy. I know it's preseason, but, you know, tighten up on there. Cam Newton. I want Cam to have a great year. The only thing about Cam Newton is that they got to play my Falcons twice a year. So that's, that's not a good look. You know what I'm saying? To all the uh, New Orleans Saints fans, ah, man, I can't stand Saints fans. I know I'm going to get a lot of flack from that. Look, I live in ATL, and it's a lot of Saints fans in, in Atlanta. I get tired of seeing y'all memorabilia riding around my city, man. You see what I'm saying? So, you know, whatever to the Saints fans. To my Browns fans, can we just get... Man, can the Browns just win 10 games? I, if we go 10-6 and six or 10-7, and seven, whatever it is, and, you know, 11 and whatever, can we just win 11 games? That's what I want the Browns to do. I don't care if they make it to the playoffs or not. I just want my Browns to win 11 games. That's it. My predictions, and I'm going to say it right now, Coming out of the AFC, I'm gonna go with uh, I'm gonna go with the Patriots. I'm gonna go with the Patriots coming out of the AFC to play in the Super Bowl. Out of the NFC, I don't know. I can't call it. Uh, NFC gonna be a toss up between Green Bay, New York Giants, and the Philadelphia Eagles. So I can't call that. I don't know. But um, I'm, I'm looking for uh, Tom Brady. He thirsty. Tom Brady thirsty like Kobe. Tom Brady want another ring. Uh, uh, Belichick wants another ring. You know what I'm saying? 
you know, look for Ray Lewis to have a great year. That's my favorite linebacker of all time. Look for Ray to have a great year because Ray probably about to retire. You know what I'm saying? Ray been doing this thing for a minute, you know, so he's probably he's probably about to retire. I don't know what I'm going to do when Ray Lewis retire, man. I'm going to be so bored. Uh, Brian Erlacher needs to retire, for real. He needs to retire. So that's that. Yo, big ups to my Atlanta Falcons. Big up to Matty Ice. Big up to number 11, Julio Jones. All right. Roddy White. Harry Douglas. The old man, number 88, Tony Gonzalez. We about to do this. It just sounds so great on paper. I recant my statement. Falcons is coming out of the NFC for the uh, Super Bowl this year. They gonna, Falcons is going to play the Patriots. I recant my statement. Falcons to the Super Bowl this year. You can tune in to your boy at thepowerhour.atl. Y'all already know what's up. If you have not, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Be a part of one of the baddest, one of the best, and in most cases, one of the funniest shows, but definitely always the most exciting and the most informative show on YouTube, The Power Hour, hosted by none other than me, your man, Power Hour, baby. Yo, I love my sports, so this is to all my sports heads out here, man. Y'all hit me up and let me know what's going on in this NFL preseason thing. Your boy work a lot, so I don't have time to watch the games, you feel me? But when them joints come on Sunday, baby, you better believe it's going to be NFL Network, NFL Sunday ticket. All day, every day. Deuces, I'm out.